Welcome to this uh, presentation where we're going factor by using the greatest common factor and we're going to factor binomials using the greatest common factor and we're going to look at binomials that have a negative coefficient. So by negative coefficient I mean what if we have something like 2x minus 8 and we're told to factor this. So just look for your greatest common factors between 2 and 8, and that's going to be 2. Let's go ahead and factor out a negative 2, and then just ask yourself what number times negative 2 gives you negative 2x? Well, that's an x. What number times negative 2 gives you a negative 4? Well, we know a negative times a positive is a negative, so that must be a positive 4. And to check it, you just distribute out this 2. 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, which is what we started with. What you got to do, really, is watch your signs. When we start working with negative numbers like we did in this first example, it's just more room for mistakes with uh, your signs, you know, your pluses or minuses. Let's do another example. Let's say what if we had negative 2x squared minus 16x. Well, once again, start with your coefficients here. Figure out the greatest common factor between negative 2 and 16, which is going to be a negative 2. Then let's work with our variables. The greatest common factor between x squared and x is going to be x. I'm going to open up my parentheses. Now note this negative sign, right? Got to keep that in mind while I'm figuring out what goes inside my parentheses. Ask myself, what number times negative 2x gives me negative 2x squared? Well, that's going to be x, because a negative times a positive gives me a negative number. And I know my last term here has got to be positive, because a negative times a, because we got a negative times a positive, which is going to give us a negative. So if you're not sure what number to put here, you can always take this negative 2. Divided by negative 16, that's going to give us 8, right? So I know an 8 goes there. And let's check it. So negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared minus 16x. So that's what we started with, so we know we did it right. Let's move on to another example. Let's do negative 4x squared plus 20x. So now we got a negative and a positive. Well, we're going to pull out a negative number because if we have a negative here, it's just good form to pull out a negative. So the greatest common factor between 4 and 20 is going to be 4. So let's pull out a negative 4. Greatest common factor between x squared and x is just going to be x. Open up my parentheses. Now what number times negative 4x gives us a negative 4x squared? That's going to be a positive x. And then we want this next number here. Let's think about this for a second. A negative times a negative. So that's going to be a negative is a positive, right? So 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that's going to be a minus 5. And that's it. Just minus 5, right? To check it out, we distribute this negative 4. So we've got negative 4x squared plus 20x, and that's what we did to factor out, um, to factor this one using the greatest common factor. So, you know, in essence, we're just undistributing it, right? So, I don't know if you caught that, but we're just undistributing it. So, let's um, look at negative 12x minus 8x squared. So, um, let me show you demonstrate another thing we can do. The first thing, first thing is you can first try taking out a negative one. And this might help, but you know, if, if the previous thing didn't make much sense to you, well, let's try factoring out a negative one. So now you've got 12x plus 8x squared. If you do that, then for some reason, you know, these positive numbers tend to be easier for people to work with. Let's um, let's go ahead and pull out an x. You've got an x here, x squared here, so you got a negative one 
times x times 12 plus 8x. Now what's our greatest common factor between 12 and 8? Uh, let's see, that's going to be a 4, right? So now you got negative 1 times 4 times x times 3 plus 2x. And then let's multiply these together. That's going to give us a negative 4x. And we have 3 plus 2x. And let's double check it by distributing it. Yeah, we undistributed it here, right? That was your, our undistribution. Now we're dis distributing it. So you got a negative 12x minus 8x squared. And that's what we started with. So, or you could have looked at this and you could have said, hey, it's going to be my greatest common factor between 12 and 8 is 4. It's going to be a negative 4 because they're both negative. Then my greatest common factor would be x. And then you could have filled in here like we did before by asking yourself what number times negative 4. x gives you negative 12x. Well, of course, that's 3, right? And then we could ask ourselves what number times negative 8. So either way, you know, a couple of different ways of looking at this. Uh, and that's factoring out uh, binobials with the negative coefficient.